Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over changing your big box theme. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's actually really easy to do. There's two ways to get this done. And basically, this just allows you to change the theme to get it to look exactly how you want. Now, we do have a ton of themes available for Big Box. The community is really awesome over here. So if you're interested in joining the forum, link for that is in the description. But let's go ahead and jump right into it the easy way. Now, from within Big Box, if we head over to our settings, we have a section in here called Manage Themes. And this is the easiest way to get new themes for Big Box. From this section here, as you can see, we have a few different options. At the very top, these are my installed themes. I have 13 of these installed. Two of these can be updated. We have updates ready to go for those. And the rest of them that are available, at least from within Big Box, because we have many more on the forum that aren't available here, we have 16. So if I go into here, we have a list of all these themes available to download from within Big Box. So let's go with, uh, we'll do Banner Box by Farron. We'll go ahead and download this. We can like, install, get support, details, description, views, gives us a little information about this theme shows us the views that are available for it. We're gonna go ahead and install. That theme was successfully installed. It's gonna refresh this page. It's taken me back to my installed section. So now instead of 13, I have 14 installed. We'll grab one more. We'll just move down this list here and go with Station Emulation by Viking. We'll download this one. Now that theme was successfully installed. So now that we've downloaded a couple new themes, let's go ahead and change it out. We're gonna to go to our install section from our theme section inside a big box. And we're gonna find one of these new ones that we just downloaded. We'll go with station emulation. So we're gonna select this theme and we're gonna apply it as our main theme. Now what this is gonna do is apply it to our full theme inside a big box. This is gonna give us a nice unified look. Everything's gonna be station emulation. There are ways to customize this theme and apply it to different platforms, but that entails a whole nother video. I plan on making one, it'll be coming up soon. This video is really just getting you up and running with new themes in Big Box. So the option we're gonna select here is apply as main theme. We're gonna choose yes, and now we have station emulation as our main theme inside of Big Box. So we'll back up, and once we head back into Big Box, you'll see that we now have that station emulation theme across the board. So if I go into my NES section, this is also changed. I really do like this theme here. I think it looks really good. Viking did an amazing job on this, and it's definitely different from Emulation Station. He put his own twist on it. Kind of minimalistic, easy to navigate, and overall, this is definitely one of my favorite themes. I've been using this a lot lately. Going to Super Nintendo here. As you can see, we have that wheel. And like I mentioned, all of this can be totally customized. If you don't like the wheel section over on the right hand side, this can be changed. And real quick, at least for this video, I'll give you an idea of how to change that inside of your platform. So we're gonna go back into the menu, theme specific options, station emulation, because this is the one we're using. And from here, we're gonna go to views. So for our platform list, we're using platform wheel one. We're gonna leave this like it is, personally I like it. Our games list, we were kind of using that vertical wheel over on the right hand side. We can go through here and change this. We have a vertical wheel too, but I wanted to set this as a horizontal wheel. So we'll go to horizontal wheel one. We'll just back up and we'll go back into Super Nintendo. As you can see, instead of having that vertical wheel, we're now using the horizontal setup with box art. Now, like I mentioned, there's a lot to this customization here. I mean, there's a lot of different views with a lot of different themes. So I will have a full tutorial coming up very soon, but I just kind of wanted to get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and grab one more theme. So from the big box settings, we're gonna go to manage themes. We'll go to available. And from here, we'll just download uh, the unified theme by Critical Sid. So I'll go ahead and install this. Once that's installed, we wanna apply it. So we just download the unified theme. We'll go to apply as main theme. Yes, I wanna swap this out. We can back up into big box. And as you can see with this theme here, our menu is also changed. So we'll go back, this will bring us into Big Box, and we have that new theme ready to go. So let's just go into Nintendo GameCube. And again, this is set to wheel. I also have some box art popping up. This is totally customizable from the menu. So yeah, that's one easy way to install themes. These themes have been reviewed. They do work with Big Box really well. 
but there's a lot more themes that aren't on that list over on the LaunchBox forum that can also be downloaded and installed. So we're going to exit Big Box, and we're going to head over to the LaunchBox forum. The link for this is in the description. From Downloads, we're going to find Big Box Custom Themes, and there's 167 over here. We're just going to scroll through the list and find one that we like, and I've already seen it. This one here, Fading Elegance Version 1 by Paw Paw. Go ahead and read through everything. It tells you all the views he's incorporated with this. And a lot of theme developers will upload videos just to give you a good idea of how this theme looks. So I do think this one looks absolutely amazing. We're going to download this file. It's going to download for us. This one is zipped, so we will have to unzip it. It's in my downloads folder. And one thing you need to look out for when extracting these is sometimes they're in a double folder, especially when using WinRAR. So we just extracted the Fading Elegance theme here. But what we need to focus on is this internal folder with everything we need for that theme. So this is the folder we're going to be transferring over to our LaunchBox directory. I'm going to snap this to the right hand side. We're going to find our LaunchBox directory wherever you have LaunchBox installed. Mine's on a separate drive my D drive, launch box, and from here, we're going to find the themes folder. Once we open this up, you're going to see we have all of those themes that I downloaded from within Big Box, but what we can do is just add a new one. Since we just downloaded this from the forum, we're going to place it right in here. Now we'll have access to that new theme inside of Big Box, so we'll move back over to Big Box, head over to our menu, Manage Themes, and from our Installed section, we'll be able to see that new theme. So the one we downloaded was Fading Elegance. We're going to choose it, apply as our main theme, and now we're using that Fading Elegance theme by Paw Paw. And here it is. We'll just head into the Genesis section, and yeah, we now have this new theme installed. I mean, it's really easy to install new big box themes. You can either do it from within big box with the limited selection we have, which has been growing over the past few months, or you can go over to the LaunchBox forum to that download section, download anyone you want, and just transfer it over to your themes folder inside of your big box install location. But that's it for this one. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. All links for everything I mentioned in this video are in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.